Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to move a sketch using the uh, position values in the property sheets and uh, covering a little bit of uh, mode of attachment to other objects or map mode. And I want to thank one of my subscribers for pointing that out. Previously I had done a sketch and I used a uh, a backdoor sort of way to detach an object. This is the official way. So I wanted to make sure I updated how to move a sketch. So this is part two. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be moving these, uh, these center objects um, of each of these bodies. And on the last one, I'm going to show you uh, why it's important to select the body that you're working on. So we want to toggle the active body and I want to pick the object I'm going to move. And the first thing I want to do is change this from map mode to deactivated. So now this is a free floating object. It's not attached to anything as I understand it. Um, and what that does is as soon as you've done that, that allows you to move the object in 3D space uh, however you want. So you can, so I can move it in uh, X and Y uh, using, using this positioning. Now you could also do that with a draft tool uh, for, you know, for, for, for a mouse controlled movement. So I'm just gonna do that with a Z right now. And then when you, when you click off of that, it will stay. If you have the map mode activated, I'll show you on the next one, that wouldn't stay. So now let's go, let's go to body number two. Let's toggle this one on and select the sketch that we want to move. So now let's try to move it without doing the map mode. And you'll see that when I move it in the Z, Z axis, it, it snaps back to what it's mapped to. So the map mode you know, locks your things in position, which is good. That's what you want. Um, so, so you want to deactivate and then move it. So I'm going to move it to 10. Now let's check out what happens when I reactivate it. And I, um, I, it was attached to flat face. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen to be honest with you. Yeah. So it reattaches it to what it was on. I don't know if, uh, I don't know how FreeCAD, uh, remembers that. Let's, let's undo it again, deactivated and move it. Okay. So, um, I think at another point I should probably do a, uh, a video on, on some, what are some of these, uh, map modes. Um, I think that'd be good to know. So the final one, let's move this the same way. Let's deactivate and select placement. You can also do this. And you get the and you get this one. So um, so this is the custom dialog, and and in this one you can change one, make more, one move at a time, and set it in, and and apply it. Um, so that does does the same thing, but allows you to change all of them at once. And I don't know why it doesn't let me do it again. All right, but that's not what this video is about. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply, this is sort of a bonus, but it's what I was working towards, is I want to apply um, the uh, uh, sweep to these objects. So I'm going to select the body, and the reason why is I want to show you what happens when you don't select the body, and kind of show you the sweep, the sweep tool a little bit. To me, is a little bit fidgety. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to select the base object that I want to sweep from, and I think that could be in, in it's bi-directional and click sweep. So now it wants you to select a ruled surface. So you notice the, the object that you already select is gone, so you can't select it. And this is the order of operation. You, you need to click add section, and then the section you want to add. I missed it, so it didn't. So now it shows up in the list. So I believe you could add additional sections, but I'm not covering that at that time. Um, and you'll see it creates the, uh, creates the lofts for you. And then at this point you can click OK and your loft is done. And you see it's added it to this body. Now I'm gonna go into here and do the same thing. We're gonna to toggle this as the active body. We're gonna select the lower sketch as, um, as the loft basis. We're gonna click loft, click add section, and click the hexagram there and click okay. So you can see it'll, it'll loft to uh, a different, it'll make the decisions for you. You have got that little face there uh, and how to convert you know, from the circle to the hexagram there. So for the last one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave, we're gonna set this as the active body. Okay, I'm gonna select this lower sketch as the loft basis. We're gonna click loft, and I'm gonna click add section and the triangle. And you see it's created the loft, but watch what happens when I click okay. 
it's moved this additive loft to the other body. So I'm going to click Control Z to remove that operation. And now we're going to uh, set this body as the active body and re complete the loft operation. So clicking Add Section and then the section that you want to add. And, and OK to complete the loft. And you'll see now, in this, this case, the loft is added to the correct body. Uh, so I believe if you don't have it mapped, um, it's going to you know, add it to wherever, whatever body you are currently working in. So I'll have to explore that a little bit to see exactly why it does that. But I hope you enjoyed this uh, adaptation. So this is um, the better way to move a sketch as opposed to my previous uh, sketch moving with, with the draft move tool and the little cancel uh, tip. So this allows you to move the sketches directly. Um, actually, one last final thing is I want to show that you can actually, um, after you've lofted it, uh, an item, you can um, you can still move the the sketch the sketches that it's lofted to. So, and it'll just recompute the uh, it'll recompute the loft. So you see I, you can see I moved it, moved the sketch, and it'll recompute the loft. So if, if you've gotten it wrong a little bit, you can still modify it afterwards. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to see more of these videos. And comment if you have any uh, additional tips that might be useful in these videos. And have a great day. Thank